Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Guns R Us. Alright guys, so um today I'm gonna be reviewing the um the all light uh in this case it's gonna be the Valkyrie uh PL Pro which is the rechargeable uh light from all light this one is a fifteen hundred lumens lumens and also I have here the uh the Baldir Mini this one is a six hundred lumens with uh a laser so we have a light the laser oops and the laser and the light all right so in this case it's too close so it's gonna outshine the uh, laser but there you go i think you guys got it right there all right so um the reason i mean i know i know there's a bunch of guys out there watching this uh this light because i mean uh Sorry for that person, you know, that dies uh, for using that light on, uh, on his mouth while he was fixing the car. So I think, uh, I mean, probably, I don't think it's an all light uh, mouth function. That will be uh, a battery. Uh, I see a plenty of uh, mouth functions on the battery, which uh, they explode. Even I have um, headlight, headlamps. Uh, on my forehead while I'm working on the under the car and uh double A's and triple A's batteries uh they just blow off. I feel the pop and uh you know the 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 the, the lights just come up and get messed up. So um you know any accidents can happen to any lights uh even short fires too so but that's not the case. Um, I haven't have I haven't this lights for I would say almost three years, and um, I haven't had any trouble, any problems with it. Um, I put it in the safe. When I pull them out, they're charged. Um, the batteries don't die like all the rechargeable batteries, and uh, you know it's, it, it is a good product. It's solid. You know, what I mean, I like the. Um, the way that you can adjust uh adjust the light you know pretty much this little light right here you can you can configure it this light to any any gun out there with uh a 1913 picatinny or it comes with uh the glock uh four generation and below uh mount too so you can switch it out just uh, removing these two screws right here all right and it comes with in different colors you know brown uh, fde gray I had the gray that uh it matched pretty good with my uh p320 uh all white and i have some uh tones and gray and it's a chrome and um also with my uh canic tp9 as a uh, not not the sfx the sc the subcompact uh which have uh tones and gray and uh some other gray parts but that's not the case. The case is uh, we're gonna review these lights today and we are gonna act like, um, so for me, I use this setup right here for home defense, all right? This is what I use for home defense. Um, this one will be on my nightstand. Plug it on the, uh, well, this is not my room. This is actually the, the spare room in the house where I do my videos and uh, all the work and uh, storage too. So. My wife is over there watching TV. I don't want to bother her. So, yes, it will be connected to the light while I'm sleeping. That means that the battery is going to be fully charged once I pull the battery um, out of the uh, of the charger. Once I pull the battery off the charger, the battery is fully charged. All right. Also, um, with this one too, same, same, same deal. Once I pull this, it's gonna come out. Also, another feature that I like about this, right? Okay, so when when it's charging, it's red. When it's green, when it's green, it means that it's fully charged. Now it won't turn off; it's, it will stay green. So that means during the night, in the dark, in your room, you know where to go. You know where to go once you see this green dot right here that your firearm is right there when you're all confused and you don't want to turn on the lights, you know, to uh, tell the bad guys that you're awake or, or you know, um, so they can have more visibility on you. So 
Now, this little guy right here, why I like this guy? So once I pull, this one's not gonna work on this one because it's a different, uh, you see, it, it doesn't allow it. But I have the other one connected already because we're gonna do a, a like, you know, actually I'm sleeping and I'm gonna pull out the gun when somebody uh, tried to um, break in, in the, my door. All right, so um, I like this little guy right here because of the laser, right? Some people say, oh, that's that's a soft, uh, that's that laser is, uh, uh, you know, it's not, it's not that good laser. I would say maybe it's not a top of the line laser, but it's not, a shitty laser neither you know what i mean um for me this is not gonna be for a full combat you know what i mean like go to iraq and uh and go break in the freaking rooms and uh start you know shooting and, and dropping the gun on the ground and putting it in the mud this will be like a home defense setup right here all right so it's gonna be like grab point shoot and kill the bad guy that's about it all right also, I have a backup here, which is my um, my Holocin with the green dot, right? So once, okay, so another thing that I wanna put out is that when you are asleep and you suddenly awake, I mean, I awake suddenly because somebody, you hear a noise or something, and you try to point this gun, once you put the laser, once you put the laser, once you turn on the laser and you light the laser once you look through um through your, your your red dot or green dot side you're looking at that laser so it's gonna be a fast um it's gonna it's gonna be a fast finding for that dot on this uh on this uh green or dot side all right so once once you point it you follow in the laser and match the laser that you have on the on the on the side already with the laser over there all right say you have um well this one have two um green but i know the difference because one is brighter than the other one but now let's say you have a red one here and a green one down there so you're gonna put the red and you're gonna follow the green so pretty much you're gonna look through the window look for the green boom and you're gonna see the red real quick it's gonna take a split of second to match those two two um two red dots, all right? But if you didn't have the laser, it's gonna be a, a little bit more slower to find that dot, you know, when you are all asleep and try to find the dot through the night on, on, on the red dot, right? Some people say, oh, you know, uh, I can find it real quick. Hey, that's up to you, but not everybody. All right, and that will help a lot, right? That will help a lot because I, I, I've already tried. I just find it, boom. Follow the dot, boom, boom. It's, it's like split a second when you turn on the laser and then look through the side and find the dot of the laser and then you can find the dot or your uh, red dot real quick. Um, that's one of, one of the features that I like, right? Because my, the laser might be not that accurate, but it's gonna hit some, if you point it to the chest, it's gonna hit it. It's gonna hit it somewhere in the chest, all right? And then the following shots are gonna be from the uh, your dot side, all right? So that's, that's gonna be uh, overkill, all right? So when you sleep, I don't think you're gonna be able, some people are like, I don't know. We might have some PTSD and don't sleep, and you come back ready all the time. But not that's not that doesn't apply to everybody. So um, it's pretty good the laser with the light because if somebody breaks in your room, all you have to do is grab that gun. You don't have to be unplugged. You don't have to unplug the gun. All you have to do is grab it, click it, and point it with the light pointing with the light as soon as you point it with the light you're going to see the dot right there so we're talking about a split of second and once you get the dot on the chest all you have to do is press the trigger and that's it you know what i mean you don't have to aim you don't have to um look through uh the cut witness sites or anything plus plus this is not gonna die because it's already charged it's been charging the whole night 
You know what I mean? It's not like you're going to be in the case that you're using a regular flashlight battery. I do prefer, um, I mean, I got to say, I do prefer uh, regular one, CR123 batteries in the flashlight. Right? I use rechargeable 123 Surefire flashlight on my flashlight battery operated. All right? With this uh, little guy right here. Okay? I'm going to order, order a couple of more because, uh, it, you know, I, I, you do an, an investment to save in the future, all right? So, um, well, coming back to this. So, it is nice, you know what I mean, that you have a light next to your nightstand, fully charged all the time. One thing is about this light too, all right? And I already tested with all the other lights. I have uh, um, the string light, the string light uh, TLR1, uh, high lumen, 1000 lumens. That light will, the candela will push forward, all right? This light right here, this guy right here, once you light it on the room, I'm not gonna show you guys um, in a minute, it's gonna light up the whole room. Even if you go from, I, I, I live in a two storage house. Even if you look down to the living room, the whole living room is gonna be light up because it's a wide uh, light. You can see everything around the light. All right, that's what I like from this one. With this one is gonna be a little different. This one's gonna be more straightforward and long distance uh, light. Man, this light is powerful. So powerful that I feel like my hand right now, in a couple of seconds, it start burning. There you go, boom, that's it. All right, so I'm gonna simulate that I'm in the room, which is not in my same room. This is not, this is not my setup. But let's say that the my AK is gonna it's, it's already clear. We're gonna check it again. It's my AK pistol, and we are going to say that there's a round in the chamber, and it's loaded with uh, hollow points seven six two uh, by thirty nine. All right, but not we're not gonna have a magazine. All right. Same thing with the Glock. The Glock is gonna be, uh, we're gonna think that it's loaded with a 33 round magazine, all right? And one in the chamber, which in reality is gonna be empty and no magazine, all right? I don't want no accidents. Even if I know, I know how to handle guns, but all the time we gotta handle guns, even if they're not loaded, like they're loaded. But we are 100% that these two guns right here, they're not loaded, all right? Also, I'm gonna put this to the side. This is my setup, all right? This is my setup right here. I got a bunch of guns, but this is my setup for uh, home defense, all right? It's small, it's gonna fit my 19, uh, my 17 uh, uh, magazine uh, from my 17 and the 19 and the extenders too. So it's something small that I can handle around the house, all right? And, uh, and have a good setup with the laser and the red dot. And co witness if I break that glass, it's gonna co witness with the nine sides. All right, but then here I have a bag that is gonna be across the shed. It's it's not a fancy bag, all right? It's just a it's just a bag. It's just a bag. So here on this side, this is man. This is gonna be like if the whole army goes through the door, all right? Here it has four fully charged. Uh, for my um, 19. Come on, I this real quick. For my 19. I don't want to get a big ass bag. I just want to go with something that I can put real quick across my uh, across my neck and put it in the front of my uh, on my on my torso level. All right, here on inside the bag, I have another. Glock, which another uh, all light ball deer, uh, but this one have the laser and ha also had nine sights. This one is a hundred, uh, 1200 lumens, and this one is actually operated with uh, batteries and has short fire uh, recharger batteries inside. I want to make sure I have quality inside and they're not gonna explode. Maybe it's the all light regular batteries so i want to make sure i'm using some american batteries in there rechargeable batteries all right 
Also, I have two more um, AK-47 uh, fully 30 rounds max inside. On the, on the uh, name of President Biden, I'm protecting my family, all right? Also, I do have a knife. I do have a knife. I hope I don't have to use the knife uh, with all the stuff that I have in the bag. But, hey, this is my last resource. There you go. Fully sharp, light knife. Browning knife, all right? That was going to be there, all right? And if I get shot, I'm gonna prepare myself. I, I still have to prepare myself. I'm probably gonna get a rig where I can get a best real quick over the top of my head and uh, have everything already in there set up. But um, with the max and everything, and uh, um, on a on a medic kit, right? So this is a regular my female standpoint for you know you know what I mean. So all you have to do is. If you get shot, all you have to do is put it in your wound. Mine up, put on your wound, push it, push the plastic, and this will grow up and absorb all the blood and stop the blood for a little bit till uh, 911 arrives and uh, you get the first uh, treatment. All right? So that's good. Tampons, put in the hole. You got, a, you got a bullet hole, put this in. I'm not gonna open another one, but an example. Put it in, push it, pull, and then this will stay in, all right? Leave this out so the medics uh, can pull this out when you get to, uh, to the ER or the doctor. And that's simple right there. That's simple and cheap. Just put it on the wound, chest wound, now, um, anywhere, anywhere in your body. All right, so this is a good thing to have. A couple of tampons available, just in case you get shot. I have some in my uh, in my glove box too on my car. You know what I mean? For two reasons, for my wife and then for my, uh, if we get shot. All right, hopefully not. Um, also, so I have the knife. I have two more mags here. For my 17. And also, you know, also the 17 are gonna fit on my uh on my 19, 1919 too. So I was gonna use the uh I like I like a lot of my CC uh P10F and you know have a lot of capacity 24 rounds. I was gonna use that one, but I think it's more reliable if I use a gun that you know, I can inter interchange the, the magazines, all right? At least the the 17 use it on the 19, all right? Because if I still using this one, if I still using this one, all I have to do is reload, 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 okay? And then that one's gonna be in a spare just in case something happened. And it's gonna be loaded. It's gonna be loaded with 17 plus five. So 22 rounds. All right, this bad boy is accurate. I already tried, man. You know, Glock. It's not. It's not. It's not fancy. It's not the most pretty gun out there. I like it. I like it. I like it. You know, it's simple. It's not the most accurate gun. I mean, uh, most uh beautiful gun out there. But hey, it will get the job done better than the other ones. All right. So that's what I got in my bag. I don't have a lot. That's what I have. All right. So I have four. 419 mags, uh, three for my uh, uh, 17, and also I have another 33 round that is gonna be actually in the gun on the knife stand. Okay, so that's the set. This one's gonna be hanging on my best stand. So, but we're not gonna do a lot of tactical stuff around the house. I'm just gonna show you the functionality, uh, the, the function of um, how it works, all right? So I'm gonna turn on the lights, I'm gonna go to the bed, and I'm gonna act like I'm sleeping and something happened, all right? 
So let's let's do it. For the record, uh, we're gonna simulate that that guy. That's the guy that broke in the door. You know, nothing fancy, okay? Nothing fancy. Just a guy standing in the door, opened the door, broke the door, grabbed my gun, turned on the light, put the laser on his face, and light his ass. All right, so we're not gonna leave the room. I'm not gonna be t doing tactical stuff around the house. I don't wanna light up anybody in the face, any member of my family in this house, all right? Everything is good, everything is safe. I have checked my guns. All my guns are fully unloaded and no uh, magazines on the gun. All right. All right, guys, the gun is, uh, like I say, it's unloaded, no gun, no, no ammunition, check like three times. It's gonna be on my nice time, plug. You see the green light means that the, the light is charged and it's gonna be charged the whole night. All right, I'm gonna be here on the next, on the next uh, to the bed, and then we're gonna switch. When I hear the noise, we're gonna simulate that somebody's closing the door. We're gonna turn on the light and point my laser to that uh, face mask right there. All right. Let's All right, guys, it. I'm in my room right now. I'm in the bed, and I hear a noise in the house, All right? I think somebody is coming up the stairs right now. So I look at my nightstand. I know where's the gun because of the green light. I reach my gun, grab my gun, disconnect it, boom. So the first thing I do is get... uh. My green saw, so my green uh, dot side ready to go. And when I hear that the the, the person is approaching, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually pick a position, not in my bed, maybe behind right here, and get ready for it. All right, boom, I hear the door open, light up, boom, pop, 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 that's it, guy's dead, you see the laser, let me see if I can get the laser for you guys, I don't think the laser is gonna light up on camera, it's pretty light, on the camera, but in person, you can see it very bright. For some reason, it's not catching up on the camera. All right, guys. So the light is dim right now, so it's not a lot of light. So I'm gonna use the laser to demonstrate how I can find that red dot pointing with the laser, all right? So the laser is set up for at least, I would say 15, 20 meters, that's, the average you can you know you can get in close uh, quarters with somebody um so i'm gonna light it up and then i'm gonna show my red dot how it's gonna catch up real quick okay so let's simulate like point it real quick we'll sleep then find the dot we're gonna find the dot real quick boom there you go you find the red dot so the one at the top is actually your red dot site look Bam. Now look without uh, without the laser. See, it takes a little bit more time. But with the laser, boom, you just follow the laser. So that's an advantage right there. Even if the laser is not that accurate, it's gonna help you out to um, find your red dot real quick. You know, during the night while you are like, feel a little bit sleep. All right, so now we're gonna check the AK-47. The AK-47 is gonna be across the room, okay? And that, that one, I'm gonna open the door so you guys can see how bright it is, okay? I'm listening to a noise, all right? It's not gonna be a full speed because I'm holding the camera, but imagine that I'm going faster than that, okay? But I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna follow that green dot right there. That green dot is my AK-47. So I'm gonna grab my AK-47, and then automatically it's going to um, unplug once I pull this, 
all right? So, okay, it's loaded, it's charged, there's one in the chamber, all right? And then I'm not gonna all turn on the light because nobody has crossed the door yet, okay? So I'm listening, I'm trying to listen. So there's noises inside the house right now. So I'm gonna open the door quietly. Try to don't make too much noise. Of course, it's gonna be a little bit of noise. Then, on the fast, you know, with, with a faster movement, I hear somebody in my living room. So I'm gonna get my AK-47 ready, combat ready, with the light on, real quick. Light it on. Let's say this is faster, right? And boom, with the red dot. And it's fully charged. It is fully charged right now. This is not a combat situation. I'm not trying to show you how to uh, um, clear rooms or none of that stuff, all right? All right, guys, so that was uh, that was my review. Um, I hope you guys like it. I'm not trying to change your mind. I try to show you the functionality of this light, you know what I mean? Other than just a rechargeable light, the benefits of, being, uh, of having a light that is charged fully charged all the time for the moment that you need it, all right? I've been in the spot that I pick up uh, expensive flashlights, all right, from the, from the safe, turn it on, and I'm like, Phew. in a matter of three minutes, boom, shut down, because the light is drained. I mean, uh, the, the battery is draining, all right? It's, 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 it's bad already, all right? So the only thing that you can do in that situation is if if opens in the back, open the back, open the front, and I don't think in a in a rush situation where somebody is trying to break on your door, you're gonna figure out how to change your batteries, right? So pulling this bad guy right here from the charger, that will be a good option and have a fully charged light, right? I don't know, I forgot how long it's gonna be on, but at least uh, 45 minutes. A combat in your house if you if you have 45 minutes of combat in your house trying to get uh, these guys out of your house man you need to call the army all right but um it's a powerful light you know even the 600 light 600 lumens is on the it's on the, it's on the point you know what I mean um, even if I have a laser like like I show you guys um, it's faster to find your uh, your red dot sight on your gun which is more accurate but still, you know what I mean? If you sleep and you suddenly wake up, you just point that laser and shoot. And that's it. It's gonna hit it on chest somewhere. It's a good light. You know, I've been having this light for three years and I don't have any problems, all right? So I wish all the companies comes with this idea, but I wish they comes with something better, something like hybrid, you know what I mean? So something like, um, like this, this is pretty cool right here. You know what I mean? But at the same time, that use one, two, three rechargeable batteries. So you can use something badass like a short fire batteries, one, two, three inside the line, rechargeable and recharge right here with this guy right here. You know what I mean? And at the same time, you can use non rechargeable batteries, right? So let's say you have it for home defense. Uh, for home defense, you have it fully charged all the time with the one, two, three um, short fire batteries or the string light, any other good brand, right? And then uh, let's say that she, that she hit the fence, you know what I mean? Like like we say, and uh, the zombies, uh, I, I mean, uh, finally start uh, eating people out there and we gotta do something about it. So um, there's no way to recharge the batteries anymore. So you can switch out the batteries with one to three regular batteries, right? So hybrid, you can use. No rechargeable and then non-rechargeable, right? That would be great. Some flash surefire flashlight operate that way or or string light, that's when I'm gonna be like, no, I'm not buying more O lights. I'm going straight to O to string light or surefire. 
because I know Surefire is more, is a build, it's built better, and uh, Surefire and Straight Light. I mean, actually, I don't have any problem with these ones, but you know, it's my preference. You know, so it's between both. The other one don't have what this one have, and this one don't have what the other one have. It's about personal preference. But you know, the the meaning of this video is to show you that this light is more than a rechargeable battery. You know what I mean? Have an indicator so you know when you sleep and you suddenly wake up where to reach and grab your gun. You don't have to unplug anything. It will come off because it's magnetic and it will be fully charged. You know what I mean? You're not gonna run any chance that your light's gonna die in the moment that you need it because it's gonna be fully charged and you know at least, at least you have 45 minutes of light on your light, All right? So I hope you guys like this video, okay? I'm not trying to convince you to get on uh, no light. That's my setup and I have different setups. I have short fires, I have string lights, I have cheapers, I have unbranded from Amazon. You know what I mean? I like lights and guns. So makes me happy. <laughs> so comment down below. Um, if you want to try to change my mind, change my mind. Hey, but give your comments respectful, okay? Don't use cursing words because I I would like to reply to you. You know what I mean? But because you're not in my face, you're not in my face. I mean, I'm talking about the, the, the person that has been disrespectful. I'm not going to fight with uh, uh, a YouTube uh, keyboard, all right? So I'm just going to delete your, uh, your comments because I want to keep it respectful and professional, all right? That's what we are. We are professional. We are abiding citizens, and uh, we help each other with these uh, little tools right here. All right. So I hope you guys stay safe out there. Hey, remember, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. And uh, if you subscribe, actually, it's gonna pop up a notification, and you can see my other videos too. All right. My new guns. Whenever I buy it, any modifications when I'm doing in the guns, any new lights, any even if, if it's cheap, I'm gonna review it. All right. So that way you don't you don't go to a freaking uh, Amazon and see that 1,000 reviews and they, they all say good, and then when you buy the light, they love the buy is a piece of crap. Okay, so I'm gonna keep it honest. I'm not getting any money from anybody. You know what I mean? I'm just a humble guy that like to do my thing and uh, help you guys out there. So stay safe. Subscribe. Comment down below. Hit that, th hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys. Love you guys. Guys, somebody breaking my house. What I do now? I don't have any guns. Should I call 911? Oh my God.